Greetings. I am reviewing Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. The original Mortal Kombat movies. Now, since my last review on this first Mortal Kombat movie, where I reviewed Supergirl in the last movie, I feel like I have changed my mind a little in liking this movie more. I convinced myself the first Mortal Kombat movie on it. I convinced myself uh, because I have come become because I do enjoy this campy fun of a movie. This first Mortal Kombat movie, and I really like the sequel. Even I think the sequel is a better movie and a more terrific movie than the first one because there's even more silly writing works into the plot of the movie and the campy dialogue and self-aware Tony's even more self-aware ever. Sure the effects aren't as good as the first one and uh, with the with the uh, with the practical and, and CGI effect, you know? But what does that matter? Since when does that ever make a good movie? At least it's well directed and makes the cool crappy effects look cool. If there's anything that Marvel Studios have taught me, is that good effects do not make a good movie. But if it, and it, just because it has bad CGI effects and practical effects that's unrealistic and phony looking, doesn't mean it can't be a solid film. Is what Marvel Studios movie has taught me since 2008. Doesn't mean it can't be a solid film. If the f just because the effects might be sh look like shit, and they do, and Mortal Kombat Annihilations, the sequel, doesn't mean it can't be a phenomenal, f f f freaking well-written, directed camp fest of an action popcorn movie to go through. And that's what Mortal Kombat Annihilation is. It's a great popcorn movie. I give these movies, Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, both equal a solid 10 out of 10 for being goofy fun. Because I've become obsessed with them. A bit. A little bit. <laughs> Because of how much goofy fun they are. And lighthearted, kid friendly fun of a movie these are. These movies completely butcher the games. Uh, maybe in every way. And should be ashamed of itself that be guilty to have this name all combat. The fact that he actually names them all combat confuses you sometimes. Because there's no gore in this movie. Unlike the games. That always got the mature rating. So, which is the R version of video games, if you don't know. And is basically R for video games. Rated R. This content for video games. And so, I uh, enjoy these movies, not as much as the remake from 2021, but still fair enough, solid movies. These are 10 out of 10 Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation from the 90s. I enjoy these movies enough to give them a 10 out of 10. And these movies got a good laugh out of me. With these likable, charming characters. Ones that, the villains, the bad guys, the good guys, the heroes, too. of the movie, these Mortal Kombat movies, so, that's why I give them a 10 out of 10, good morning,
I just realized it's uh, kind of bright out today. And uh, subscribe to my content by hitting the bell first. Second, hit the subscribe button in that order. And for uh, also, you like to make oh, hit the thumbs up if you like my video and share my content with those who you can think on who would like my content, anybody. And share that. My content. And check out my other videos and thank you for watching my video through. Those who watch my video through. Thanks for watching all my videos through if we can get them through to them. Any of them. That makes me happy. Finishing guys taking time watching the whole, the whole video. Those who watch the whole video of mine. That really makes me that that I appreciate that. Okay, bye.